Hi, 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 <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Rachel and um, welcome back to my channel. So since we are in the month of October, I'm coming to you with another Halloween look. I love Halloween so much. I grew up in the Caribbean. We have something that we celebrate similar as Halloween. We call it All Saints, but we don't get dressed up. We basically go to a cemetery and light candles on your loved ones' graves and stuff like that. But I've always loved Halloween. I've always wanted to create. I was just always envious of seeing others doing stuff like that. So finally, here I am with my own YouTube channel. Hey, hey, <laughs> and I'm creating this for you. So today I created um, a sort of undead glam look for you. It's very simple. I use all shadows. I use my Jaclyn Hill palette, um, a slick palette and Morphe, of course, palette. It's just eyeshadows I use to create this look. So um, if you want to see how I got this, stay tuned. And also please subscribe, like and share, comment. It really helps and I really appreciate it and thank you so much for all the love and support so far um, so yeah let's jump right into this look mm. Okay guys, I'm going in with my LA Girl Concealer and I'm actually using, that's the shade I use to highlight my face. It's way lighter than my face because we're trying to create this on dead look. So your foundation or your concealer, whatever you use, is supposed to make you look like you're dead. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm using my damn beauty sponge and making sure I get an even coverage of this light concealer all over my face. And I'm going in with some white face paint and I'm just gently adding some of that to the areas of my face that I want highlighted so my nose my forehead the center of my lips and I'm gonna add some of that to the top of my cheekbones now I'm gonna use my Sasha butter translucent powder just to set all that in place we don't want anything moving at the end of the day we just want everything to be smooth so I'm pressing that into my face. Then I'm going in with that black eyeshadow from my Morphe 35A palette. And I want my shadows to be very, very dark because I'm dead. <laughs> Grabbing a contour a brush, I'm using a dark purple to start to define my cheekbones. And I'm opting for cooler tone shadows because we do want to look undead. So don't try to go for anything that's warm. You want cooler tones to create that bruised effect. And I'm contouring my jaw. And like I did the side of my cheeks and everything. Because I want everything to still be defined even in the undead. Then I'm taking a smaller a brush. And I'm defining that even more. And bringing it lower to the size of my cheek. To create this more harsher defined look. I'm using that same color and I'm applying it around my lips and to the center of my lips with that same blending brush, my nose. And I'm hollowing out my temples also so I can look more sunken in. And I'm still using that uh, deep purple shade. I'm contouring my nose because I will be contoured in the undead, believe I will. Then I'm hollowing out underneath my eyes as well because I want there to look more sunken out as well. And I'm still using that same blending brush. Now I am going into my shadows and I'm using um, a Morphe crease brush and I'm applying that same purple. I told you it's just shadows I'm using into my crease, blending back and forth until I get the consistency that I want. And I'm deepening that up now with a dark blue from my sleek um, palette to create more definition and I switch my brushes also then I'm using some black shadow and I'm going to a smaller brush underneath my eyes 
and I am applying that and using that blue to blend it out a little bit more here I'm hollowing underneath my eyes more I feel like I want it to look more sunken in and I'm just blending that out I'm doing the same thing to the sides of my temples I'm adding more product and blending it out so I can look more sunken in then I'm sort of lining my lips with a smaller pencil brush with that same purple shade and I'm using a white shadow now I'm using a coastal sense shadow and I'm just bringing some more highlight to the center of my nose my forehead my chin the top of my cheeks just so you know highlight. I will be highlighted as well and to make everything else stand out even more so I can look more undead I also place another underneath that contour to make it look sharper and more sunken in then I'm going in with mascara to coat my lashes and I'm popping on lashes of course these are um these are the kiss lashes I don't remember the number but I list everything in the description box then I'm using that mixture is the purple and blue um, and the palettes are big so they don't really have names or I can't remember the names of the shadows that I'm using but I'm telling you the color so you'll have an idea of what color to use and I'm applying that on the sides of my necks and on my the hollows of my my collarbones so I could just you know bring the look down a little bit so I don't don't just have a white ass face and I'm fixing my earrings my hair because we are glam your hair gotta be on point and that's it that's a completed look it didn't take me seven minutes to do this you guys it took me a while but um that's that's it it's just shadows it's pretty simple you can look, actually look at this pause the video do whatever it is there are a lot of halloween parties coming up so you can gravitate to a look like this and um thank you so much for watching and comment down below what you'd like to see me do next bye